In this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing this 30 amp heavy duty cigarette lighter power outlet on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. All the products in this installation are from Amazon and it's aimed to add some much needed charging capability on the rear cabin of the Tacoma. These are most commonly used for charging ports but for me, since I work in construction, I'm intending to use this as a plug-in source for my future beacon or strobe light bar accessories. I'll link this in the description box below. The package is from this store called YCIND and comes with this heavy duty female 12 volt socket, 12 gauge positive and negative wires, and two extra 30 amp fuses. Before starting this installation, let's quickly prep the wires and go over some important info for this project. We're gonna use this T-tap and spade connectors to tap into the existing positive and negative wires of the USB charging port in the center console of the Tacoma. Grab two 22 to 18 gauge T-tap and spade connectors and start prepping the socket wires. We're gonna need to modify the ring terminal ends to these spade connectors so that we can use the T-tap connectors appropriately. Grab your wire snippers and simply cut off the ring terminal ends. Then use the 12 gauge stripper to strip the black and red wires allowing for the spade connectors to be installed. After this, grab a heat shrink tube for the 12 gauge wires, insert the red and black wires through, and start connecting the spade connectors at the end. Then push the heat shrink tube in and crimp the connectors in place ensuring a secured connection. When that's complete, grab your torturer heat gun and heat the tube in place. After prepping the wires, start this install by first removing the rear plastic panel. You're gonna need a pry tool for this step. I remove the attached extra fuses for future use before proceeding. Head over to your Tacoma and start removing the plastic panel. Please note that you're going to need to pry around the plastic to completely take this off. The goal is to ultimately install the socket at the bottom one-third height of this panel. Grab your pry tool and start prying from the bottom, patiently working on the side until you have enough space to pull this out. This should come off fairly easy. After this, measure out the location you want to install the socket at. For me, I'm installing it just above this brown component, approximately 3.5 inches above the carpet. So I rounded it to about 4 inches to clear the tabs on the back of the panel. The next step in this installation is to drill into the rear plastic panel. You're going to need a drill, a drill bit, at least a 1 inch hole saw or some similar tool, and a marker. I started off by making a center mark on the plastic in line with the center of this socket. I'll use a small drill bit as a guide hole. Use a marker to mark the center location and simply drill the hole. I'm using a 3x32 drill bit on this step. Next, grab your hole saw at least 1 inch in diameter and drill out the hole so you can insert the socket in. A Dremel will also work in this step but won't be as clean as a hole saw. Patience is required in this step to ensure you don't damage the surrounding plastic. Clean off the burrs and simply insert the socket in. If the hole is too tight, use a knife to make the hole bigger or sand the edges off. You're going to need to remove this locking mechanism and the two wires in the back first before screwing the socket in. 
please note that the wires have polarity marks on it, so just ensure that you reinstall this back properly later. Then screw the socket in and lock it back for a secured fit. Use this locking mechanism we removed previously to complete this step. After drilling and installing the socket on the plastic panel, we now need to run and fish the red and black wires from the rear to the existing positive and negative wires of the USB charging cable. Like my other videos, I used an HDMI cable for this process. Head over to your Tacoma and remove the center console panel to access the wires. Start by pulling this sleeve down and unscrew the TRD knob. Then pull the e-brake up, remove the center console organizer tray if you own one, and pull from the side of the panel carefully. I found that using this location and giving it a good pull with two hands works best. This will allow you to pry and remove the center panel. Note that if this is the first time you're doing this, it will be slightly tight so patience is required. Grab your HDMI cable and fish it in the right hand side space of the kick panel here. You're gonna need to run the wires in until you can grab from the other side. Then secure the red and black wires with the yellow female connector ends to the HDMI. And pull it down to the rear kick panel. Pull the slack out to allow for an easier cable management. The next step in this installation is to tap into the existing wires to get the 12 volt socket to work. We're gonna need to tap into this yellow wire and this white wire. Grab two T-tap connectors and wire cutters and we're going to need to connect the red wire to the yellow wire, black wire to the white wire. Simply put the wire in the wire connector and press the connectors until it locks on the wire. Then repeat this on the white wire. For the spade connectors, Simply connect it directly to the T-tap we just installed. Then repeat the same on the black wire. After this, put the center panel back ensuring that all tabs click in properly, locking everything into place with a TRD shift knob. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. The next step in this installation is to install the rear panel and test the new 12 volt socket. Grab your rear panel and reinstall the yellow end terminals to the appropriate terminal prong. Remove the HDMI cable and proceed with connecting the red and black wires back. Note the marked positive and negative terminal on the prongs when installing. and cable manage the red and black bars before proceeding with reinstalling the panel. If you have rear floor liners, I found that removing this first allows for an easier reinstallation of the kick panel. After removing this, carefully slide the panel back and push until all the tabs click in properly. Then reinstall the rear floor liners and test your newly installed heavy duty female 12 volt socket. Turn the truck to accessory mode and test the socket. I'm using this power inverter and my phone as a test. Simply plug this into the socket. And as you can see, the green power light turned on. Then plug your phone cable and ensure that your phone is charging and enjoy your brand new 12 volt socket. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this 12 volt socket installation. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos.
See you on the next one.